Well, viewers of CHCH News are well aware of the current crisis in local television, but it's a much wider problem than just this community. Across the country, stations are shutting down, hundreds of jobs are being lost, and with the broadcasting industry in crisis, the head of the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission was answering questions in Ottawa today about what can be done about the serious revenue problems facing the TV industry. With the woes of private broadcasters already well known, it was only a matter of time until Canada's public broadcaster felt the pinch. About 800 positions will be cut in the coming months. It was one of the top stories on the CBC on the same day the head of the CRTC was being grilled by MPs on the Heritage Committee discussing the dire state of the industry. Local television right now is slowly disappearing and I fear that it's going to disappear faster than what, you're, what you anticipate. I have the same fear. And time and time again, one possible way of what the industry calls improving the revenue streams came up. If I bring up the issue of fee for carriage. And certainly when we talk about fee for carriage, and we've talked a lot about fee for carriage today. And despite all the talk, and despite the fact the CRTC turned down Can West and CTV's request for fee for carriage, Conrad von Finkenstein says the issue isn't dead, but he explained repeatedly why he thinks it's not the way to save local news. We've turned it down because it wouldn't have done anything for local the content is no good, but the exactly the thing you're working on. I ask the people and understand if we give you a fee for carriage, are you going to commit to a certain local content, especially in the small markets? I got a resounding no. Other MPs say the industry needs to come up with a new model, something which experts say it's appeared unwilling to do until now. The media is an extraordinarily conservative organization. It doesn't innovate, it hasn't tried new ideas and new approaches unless it has to. It's now at a period where it's going to have to, and we'll see what happens. The news of the CBC cuts was a hot topic during question period. What is the government prepared to do now to ensure that this national institution survives this recession? The House has just passed the budget. That budget provides uh, CBC with record, fun record financing, financing the order of $1.1 billion, Mr. Speaker. So no more help coming from the feds for the corporation. But as for the private sector stations, hearing next month in Ottawa, we'll work on a fix. We'll stay tuned.